welcome back to my youtube channel my name is liddy and i have another unboxing for you guys this will be my collective haul in december and i'll be unboxing some more things for you i think this will be the second part of my collective haul i have another one that was had quite a lot of stuff and quite a lot of merch so i'm splitting these videos into two collective hauls and yeah let's see what we get today so the first package I actually opened because Royal Mail left my package outside in the rain all day so the box was really wet and damp so I had to open it to check that everything in the parcel was all okay. But yeah, I pretty much know what this one is. It was a used book that I found on eBay that they were selling for a really good price so I decided to get it. And here we have the vampire and his pleasant companions, volume one and volume two. So these are really like thick quality actually, wow. But this one is a vampire story and I think it is a boys love vampire story. Uh, Maruma Ragawa also did New York, New York, which is also a manga that I am hoping to get hopefully soon because I'm really interested in that one. But yeah, this one is a vampire BL and I'm really interested in it. I don't know too much about it, which I think is something that I kind of want to go into blind because I do like these stories and discovering them for myself. But people have raved about this in the BL community quite a bit. So I'm really, really interested to check it out. And it looks really good. It was really a good price as well. I think I got these for under eight pounds each, which is really cheap considering everywhere. I've seen these volumes are at least nine pounds and above. And the quality is really good as well. So I am pretty happy about that. And then I have this parcel. Okay, so Kakuryu Bed and Breakfast for Spirits Volume 2. I finally got the second volume and I can continue the series. So I have all the volumes now. So 1 to 7 that is out already for Kakuryu and I have pre-ordered the 8th volume so I can continue this series finally. I've been waiting for these to come back in stock for ages and Blackwell's finally had them in stock so I am super pumped about this and to continue this series and we've got some more parcels i think most of these are from books please they're pretty much a backlog of things that i ordered in november that have arrived in december but this feels really heavy so i think it's going to be a manha and i was right so we got the remarried empress the cover is stunning oh my gosh i think Manha covers are absolutely stunning and this is also by printed by IZ Press which is the new imprint from Yen Press which is the one that is printing loads of manhwas and lic licensing a lot of manhwas and this is by Art by Sumpul and adapted by Hera Lee and original story by Alpha Tart. Interesting, I didn't know there were so many people working on this one. Wow, it looks amazing. The art looks stunning. Apparently this is a really cool story about this person who I think they were betrothed to someone and she was about to become an empress but then the guy ends up wanting to be with another woman and then she's like okay you can be with that other woman but I'm gonna be with this other guy then and then she tries to become the empress. So I think it's something like that which is really intriguing to me a lot of the manhwa community have been talking about this and have absolutely been loving it and have only good things to say about this particular manhwa and i also have um, a friend who actually really enjoyed this so i'm excited to read this for sure yeah stunning can't wait to read this that's the remarried empress and we have another package here this one's quite light, so let's see what it is. 
Another one that I've been waiting for for so long is the Saviour's Book Cafe story in another world. If you've watched my previous hauls as well, you've been seeing that I've been picking up some of these volumes but have never been able to get a hold of volume 1 because it's been out of stock for so long and I finally got volume 1 and I can finally start this. Many people on MangaTube have talked about this series before and absolutely love it so I am excited to read this as well and I think pretty much most people know what this is about but it's about, it's an izakai a shoujo izakai that or is it a jose because i think she is over 30 but it's an izakai about this lady who gets transported in another world and all she wants to do is set up a book cafe and that's kind of what she does and then this handsome man visits her at this book cafe and things happen probably and maybe a romance blossoms super excited to have this one i can finally start reading it Next package here. And I got Skip and Loafer Volume 4. And this volume was the one that I needed to complete my collection so far of Skip and Loafer that is out. I obviously have Volume 7 pre ordered and I have Volumes 1 to 6. So, really excited and happy to finally have everything in this collection. So, then I can finally been to reach this series and see what all the hype is about because i know everyone loves this so really excited to start this series and i have another parcel here and we have laid back camp volume 10 so i'm still continuing to finish my laid back camp collection i think i have pretty much all the volumes i think the only volumes i don't have is eight and nine but I think 10 was on Books Please for really cheap, so I got it and really happy to have it. I've pretty much found maybe like 7 volumes of this used for a very good discounted price, so I'm super happy about that. Still haven't started this series, but hoping I will be able to start it when I have more time during my holiday break because work has been absolutely crazy because everyone is trying to finish everything off before they go on holidays because a lot of people are starting to go on holidays now so we've been super busy and I'm hoping that I'll get a really nice relaxing break and just read the whole time. I think I have about two and a half weeks off so I'm really excited to get into reading again. And this one, I think it's another manhwa because it's heavy. And it is! So we got Why Rayliana Ended Up at the Duke's Mansion Volume 2 Story by Whale, original story by Milcha This looks amazing, this looks so pretty This is actually getting turned into a anime So I'm really really super stoked about that I think it's coming out next year So gonna definitely read this before the anime comes out Super pumped about this one Our next parcel The sun is being really good today, so I'm glad I got some sunlight for this one. And we got Bungo Shadows Volume 19. As you know, if you've seen my other hauls, continuously collecting Bungo Stray Dogs, and every time I see it on a good price at Books Please, I definitely order it straight away because some of these volumes are pricey and very hard to find online for a decent price. So when I find them for like £8 on Books Please, I immediately order them, especially because Books Please has a 10% discount code. That's Bungo Stray Dogs. Hoping to continue this as well. And my buddy read with Cadence. And this one is an Amazon parcel and super scuffed here. So hopefully everything is okay with the volume. I don't know. Amazon hasn't been very great with giving us good quality volumes. But we have Al Hara Ride Volume 12. It looks stunning. These covers are so much nicer than the earlier covers of Our Have a Ride. Let me show you. So if you compare to like the first six volumes, they're pretty much like character on white background. But these ones are like a character on this like watercolor splatter type background. And it's beautiful. It's much nicer than the earlier volumes, which I really appreciate. So I'm continuously collecting Our Have a Ride. I was missing a few volumes. I think I'm still missing volume 8 because that one I'm struggling to find for a good price because it's all all over, it's like £8 which is crazy because these volumes are 7 99 in the UK I'm not going to pay over retail for a Viz Media volume so 
yeah so volume 12 i think i need volume 8 and i think there's another one here from amazon so excited to finish collecting this series and another one i think from books please it is oh so i have twittering twittering birds never fly so this one is a bl yakuza manga which is by ko yonada she is probably one of my favorite bl mangakas um she did one of my favorite works which i have here called even so i will love you tenderly i got this from june manga years ago um on a black friday sale and i also have her other works no touching at all and her collection of one shots nights and i've had the first volume of twittering breads never fly i bought it at the same time i bought these two from june i'm really happy to add this to my koyonada collection i love her work these two i think this one is hard to find as well but these two are super hard to find they're like over 100 pounds people are selling them for like over 100 pounds so i'm super happy that i got these when i did because I think I've read this about six times. It's one of my favorites. If you haven't read it already, you can still read it digitally to on their website. So if you haven't, definitely try this out. It's one of my favorites. This one is actually the, the one you should read first. This one is about a different couple, but um, characters who become the main characters in this one are featured in this one. So it's better to read this one, but this by far is my favorite. Yeah, that's my little Koyonada collection showcase. <laughs> and I have another parcel from Amazon. And this is 10th volume of Aohara Ride. And the spine is horrendous. Oh my god, they really sent me the worst spine they could find. Thank you, Amazon. But yeah, this is Aohara Ride 10. I'm glad I got to keep collecting this series and I'm really glad that I did that reread with everyone last month and it's been really great and I'm so happy to finally complete these volumes in my collection. Hopefully volume 8 comes by a little bit cheaper and then I can finish this series. Sorry about the noise outside. There's some works going on in my development. So yeah, there's always some noise happening oh okay i think i see the rest of whoops wow this plastic wrap <laughs> um so i got the rest of twittering breads never fly in here so stoked to have these and i'm definitely gonna reread this and of course i want to support one of my favorite bl mangakas so i had to buy it i was like yep it's time I have the money now to buy a manga, so I should be supporting one of my favorites. But yeah, we got three, four, five, and six. This is volume three. This is volume four. This is volume five. And this is volume six. So I realized I never really talked about this series when I hold the second volume, but this is basically a Yakuza mafia type story about this guy called Yashiro he goes through a lot of trauma in his past and he basically has he has a very unhealthy relationship with sex and because of a lot of things that happened in his past and he ends up getting this bodyguard called Domeki and he is basically working for the Yakuza because he I think there's a spoiler in there but he does something for his sister and he basically has to start working for the Yakuza I think to make money because he's finding it really hard to find a job because of things that happened as well in his past and they kind of form a bond and it is really heartbreaking this it is definitely not a fluffy romance story this is a really disheartening and really heavy story of you know trauma and and how this guy has just so much built up internal conflict with himself that he can't accept love and this bodyguard basically falls in love with him and it's just a really sad story 
about these two and the relationship as well as just things going on in the mafia yakuza as you know yakuza's type stories are quite messy there's a bunch of trigger warnings for this but if you're looking for a really deep and gritty story and the things that are going to make you feel emotional and really get invested in these characters i would definitely recommend it it's definitely 18 plus don't read it if you're younger than that please because it's not it has a lot of really dark subject matter which i would not recommend younger readers to read at all but yeah that's twittering birds never fly if you want to read something lighter definitely check out koyoneda's other one shots that i showed you previously because they're a little bit more lighthearted, but she is really good at what she does and yeah i love it definitely check it out and the last one in that package was love me love me not volume three i'm just continuing this series as some of the volumes that i got on my black friday haul weren't available on traveling mad so yeah just continuing this one and this one is by ayo sakisaka which also did our Hara ride the last package i have here is from dekai anime i ordered quite a few nendroids from there that are pre-order as well but this one was one that was in stock so it got delivered the other day let's open it Dekai anime is really good if you're in the UK because they don't charge you import tax when the thing arrives so you will be charged tax before it arrives so you won't get any like import tax or duties which is amazing and they do free delivery as well if you buy it straight away if you do pre-order i don't think they do free delivery but if you buy it outright they do free delivery so it's really good for those in the uk who want some merch from japan and as you can see we have kaine from neo replicant so if my other haul went out first you would have seen how i am pretty much obsessed with anything in the neo franchise I've played Neo Automata and Neo Replicant. I haven't played the old Neo Gestalt. Um, that was kind of before I started getting into RPGs. So I've only played those two for now, but I am obsessed with this series and also Neo Replicant. I love everything, the character designs, the character backstories, everything that kind of Yoko Taro does. I absolutely love it. But yeah, Kaine is obviously one of the main characters in the replicant and i just love her a lot i love how crude she is like she doesn't hold back she swears a lot and she's just like tells people to like go to hell basically so i love her a lot and this is her nendoroid she looks absolutely stunning i've also ordered the 9s nendoroid as well as the short hair A2 Nendoroid. I do want to get the long hair A2 Nendoroid as well. And I also want to get Nia Nendoroid as well, which is the guy in Nia Replicant. But that one is currently out of stock at the moment on Dekai Anime. So when that comes in stock, I will definitely order it. But yeah, this is her Nendoroid. Super pumped to have her. She looks super cute. It looks really cute as well. I've never actually opened any of the Nendoroids that I have, but I want to start displaying them when I get my new shelves in. So it'll be the first time I've ever unboxed and tried to put them in like poses. So it'll be a new experience for me. So this is everything I got for this haul. I think I'll put another clip if I get any more packages, as this will be a collective haul. So yeah really happy with all the purchases here and i'll see you in the next clip hi everyone i got some more packages today that i want to unbox i also went to forbidden planet yesterday just a little cheeky trip i wanted to get some manga for my nieces and nephews for christmas so i went in there to see what i could find so i'm going to go over some of the things that i bought and go over some of the things that i bought for them as well but yeah let's get started on unboxing some new packages and we have ooh. okay so we've got Kowloon generic romance I found this used on eBay for around seven pounds which is really good price for this volume considering it's around like 
$12.99 retail and it's a little bit warped as you can see it's kind of like bent but for seven pounds it's a really good price and it seems fine inside as well so yeah but this one is by the same mangaka Jun Maizuki who wrote After the Rain this one a lot of people have been talking about this and it has like a sci-fi element to it what really drew me in is that it is set in Kowloon which is in Hong Kong and I really wanted to try this series because of you know the setting as well as her art style is actually really pretty like if you can see I feel like the men aren't that good looking but the way she draws her female characters are really nice so I wanted to try it I did kind of read a little bit of this online so I know what it is about but it is kind of like quite hard to explain because it has like a really interesting sci-fi element that I'm not 100% sure how to <laughs> explain but yeah that's Kowloon Generic Romance and then we got something from Awesome Books so this is probably a used book as well so I have Card Captor Sakura Clay Card so I think you've seen this series in quite a few of my videos but I'm collecting Card Captor Sakura Clay Card when I can and if I find them used so yeah that's volume 11 I pretty much collected minus maybe one or two used and I have maybe about 10 of them now so yeah it's been really good I've been finding them online really good prices so I've just been picking them up as I go and I think I got this one for like six pounds which is a very good price for a Kodansha volume and then next I have I think this is a books please parcel I am only waiting for a few more packages from Books Please, so yeah, I think this is Banana Fish, yeah. So I got volume 17 of Banana Fish. I know a lot of people have been recollecting this series because we've been getting reprints from Shoujo Beat, um, Viz Media. So yeah, this is volume 17. I pretty much talked about this in my Black Friday haul because I bought a bunch of volumes on my Black Friday haul, which I will link somewhere in this video. But yeah, check out my Black Friday haul. I go over um, synopsis of some of the series that I'm collecting. So if you want to know more about it, definitely check that out. But Banana Fish is set in the 80s, I think. Or is it the 90s? Yeah, it's the 80s in New York. And it's about the kind of gangs and mafia there, as well as this drug that is kind of taking over this city and it's called Banana Fish and I think Ash and this guy I think his name is AG but Ash and AG are kind of bond over a chance meeting and then they try to discover the story behind Banana Fish and it is quite a um, deep and quite gritty story so considering it is in Shoujo B it is a lot more grittier than you'd expect but yeah I'm excited to continue this. It is quite dense in terms of the, sort of the material in there, so it's taking me a little bit of time to get through and pick up again, but I'm sure I will do it soon. And then we have this package here. It's full of my Forbidden Planet pre-orders, I think. But we shall see what else is in here. It really interesting this time okay and that was it what the heck okay so this huge box had just these two volumes in it which is a little bit excessive and they wrapped it really strange because they never wrap it like this usually but very interesting um but yeah you can kind of see what's in here So first one I have 
have is Late Back Camp Volume 12. This is a new release. I think this release got pushed back quite a few times. The dogs, oh my god, they're so cute. What the heck? But yeah, this is a new volume. I still haven't started this series, but this pre-order was $6.99 on Forbidden Planet. So I couldn't resist. It's such a cheap pre-order considering manga is going so expensive these days when I see $6.99 volumes on like Yen Press or Kodansha I, or Seven Seas. I pretty much pick them up instantly. So cute. But yeah, this one is a Slice of Life camp series and they go on adventures camping and making food and apparently it's a really cozy fun time and it looks like they have a dog now but yeah excited to start this one and glad i have the top volume now and now to some of the things i bought in forbidden planet i got kubo won't let me be invisible i have volumes one two and four that i got from forbidden planet as well i really enjoyed one and two um, it's kind of cute though, so I wanted to get volume 3 because I have 1, 2, and 4, so I thought I might as well get 3 so that I can continue the series. I don't know if I'll be picking up any more after 4, but we'll see how the story goes. It is really cute though, and the drawings are cute. And yeah, I'm excited to read it still. Um, this obviously was a 3 for 2 with this, so if, we, if you get 7.99 volumes, you can get three of them for the price of two so it's a really good deal and then i got volume three and volume four of hell's paradise i've been collecting hell's paradise for about three months now since i started recollecting manga again and it's been kind of a journey mainly because i refuse to buy hell's paradise online unless it is less than three for two price so three for two price these are 9.99 so if you get a three for two price you get three of them it means that the price will be around six pounds 66 so i have been refusing to buy any of these volumes for over six pounds 66 online if i can find it but i haven't really found that many online for that price except for traveling man when they did it on their black friday haul so yeah i've been collecting this series and Volume 2, 3, 4 have been out of stock for quite a few months now and they finally restocked in my local Forbidden Planet. I'm still waiting for Volume 2 and Volume 12 to complete my collection. So I just need two more volumes of this and then I've completed House Paradise finally. But yeah, I've been really holding out to get these in store because stuff like this like these shonen series and if they're viz they are always usually coming back in store so i always never buy them online because i know i can get them for free for two prices and shonen series are always popular so they always restock anyways so yeah i got that but yeah this is like a shonen uh, action series that is about a paradise that's basically like hell's paradise you kind of tell from the title but fugitives basically get sent there to find like an elixir of, uh, elixir of life for the emperor and yeah i think there's a lot of death in this it's part of the dark three so the dark three is changed from man jujutsu kaisen in hell's paradise so it is definitely for 18 plus it is a lot darker i know there's a lot of death apparently like <laughs> so yeah i have only read volume one and i really <laughs> liked it so I've been waiting to collect this so that I can continue the series because 2, 3, and 4 have been out of stock for months. But yeah, I'm excited to finally have these. And the next series I got for myself was Children of the Whale. So I found volume 1 and 2 in store and the only volume, other volume they had was volume 15. So I just got it so I could make a 3 for 2. So each volume was £6.66, which is amazing because these cost £9.99 retail price. But yeah, Children of the Wells is one that I'm not 100% familiar with. But the reason why I picked this up, and I don't know if you guys do this as well, is that when I find out that a series has a finish, finishing timeline, so they just announced that Children of the Wells is finishing on the next chapter was it on the next volume i think it's going to be up to 23 volumes when things like this get announced that they're finishing it immediately attracts me to it mainly because when i don't know when a series is ending and it's quite long like 20 volumes plus 
I don't know if I can commit to that just yet. So I that's why I, I've been holding off collecting Shirayuki Hime because that has like 20 plus volumes and I don't know when that's gonna end and it's been going on for maybe like 10 years. Yeah, but um this one is obviously finishing soon so it made me want to pick it up and I have ordered a few more volumes online because they were for under three for two price. I found loads of these volumes for like six pound twenty on traveling man so i snapped them up and so i'm hoping to start this series i know it's about like an area that's kind of secluded from main society it gets really dark and quite gritty so i'm definitely interested in what will happen there but yeah these covers are really stunning this one's volume one and we got volume two and we got volume 15 but yeah these covers are stunning so i'm super interested in how this will go if you guys have read this series definitely let me know what you think of it i've heard only good things about it so i am intrigued i heard it gets a little confusing later though so we'll see and some series i got for my nieces and nephews for christmas was sailor moon and volume two so i got uh, one and two of the new editions of sailor moon i don't know what these are called the naoki takeuchi collectors is it collectors i can't really see i think it's one of the collector's editions for sailor moon i know it has already like three different or four different versions but i got this for my older niece i think I think she is around like 12 years old so I thought it was something that she might enjoy because I really liked Sailor Moon when I was a kid so I just kind of want to expose her to this series with me um yeah I don't think they read manga so this is kind of me introducing them to manga so I'm excited to see what they think and then I have um some younger nieces and a nephew so i bought them these to share so kirby manga mania um and kirby manga mania volume one these covers are really cute so i think she'll really enjoy this i don't really know what this kirby manga is about but i'm sure it will be a fun time and i think it is family friendly so yeah and then i got my nephew some pokemon volumes so pokemon one Pokemon 1 and 2. So this is like Pokemon Adventures. I don't know if this is like a continuation of any story or if it's the start of a story, but hopefully it is. I didn't really do enough research. Oops. But yeah, hopefully he enjoys this. Yeah, I wanted to kind of get them into manga because obviously it's such a big part of my life and it was a big part of my life when I was younger. So I want to kind of get them into manga and expose them to these wonderful things that I've enjoyed over the years and hopefully they really like it and if they do continue the series then they can definitely come to me to talk about them so yeah so yeah these are everything that I got for this clip obviously some of them are for my nieces and nephews and then these ones I got for me so that was the unboxing and my little Forbidden Planet haul. 